In this lecture, the definition and evolution of the term salmonella will be examined, as well as its implications on American culture and food safety. This will be done through examining the Blue, Bur Blue Brook and Hill Farm milk incident, as well as the scandals associated with the Peanut Corporation of America. All right, so first we'll talk about the definition of salmonella and how the term came to be. So first, humans believe that salmonella was caused by ptomaine poisoning, which was the belief that ptomaines, which were amine compounds with an unpleasant taste and odor, often found in decaying food matter, was the cause for these illnesses. It was not until 1885 that Theobald Smith discovered that salmonella was actually from the intestines of pigs infected with classical swine fever, as well as many other animal, dairy, and products like chocolate. One of the assumptions that were made about salmonella that it was caused by witchcraft and this was because people saw what certain mushrooms effects had on various settlers at that time. And the symptoms were universally understood to be common symptoms associated with foodborne illnesses. And these symptoms haven't evolved much in their understanding from when salmonella was discovered until today. Now, most salmonella infections will go away naturally and don't require intervention by a doctor, but if medical intervention is required, antibiotics will be prescribed and fluids will be given to prevent the loss of fluids from the illness. And while these antibiotics have changed over time with the evolution of medicine, there has been no significant change in the way that the disease has been treated from. So, the scandals of Blue Brook and Hill Farm Milk in the Peanut Corporation of America really showcase the societal view of salmonella and how that has changed over time. So, in March of 1985, 180,000 to 200,000 cases of salmonellosis were caused due to Blue Brook and Hill Farm Milk containing the bacteria. At least six deaths were caused by this outbreak. It was the largest salmonella outbreak of all time, and James Henson, the plaintiff for Chul Food Stores, which were the distributor of the milks, denied the allegations of negligence towards the infections of the milk. And a very similar case happened with the Peanut Corporation of America, where 691 cases of salmonellosis occurred and nine deaths were caused by this event. And this event with conjunction in other scares with food safety at this time caused approximately one billion in damages towards the peanut butter industry. And this was accompanied by the report that the Peanut Corporation of America sold their products with the knowledge that they were contaminated by salmonella. So both Blue Brook and Hill Farm Milk and the Peanut Corporation of America knew that their products were uh, infected by salmonella, but they did nothing to stop its spread around the country. So once salmonella outbreaks like these occur, how do we communicate that to the community? Well, with the case of salmonella poisoning, social media is used to effectively communicate to large groups of people the risks of certain foods that may contain the bacteria. Also, it was found that a more technological approach or an approach that explains the outbreak and its repercussions rather than just informing the public that there is an outbreak was very effective in minimizing public backlash towards the distributors that have sold the infected foods. So once these outbreaks of salmonella occur and they are communicated effectively, how do we go about preventing these outbreaks in the future? Well, although salmonella has always been viewed as a major cause of foodborne illness, there are several training videos and other measures being taken to emphasize food safety in establishments that serves food 
especially if the food is more at risk to be infected by the salmonella bacteria. This is especially important when we're dealing with high risk populations, which are younger people or the elderly, or people that are in hospitals and other establishments that are similar. Also, more small scale inspections are being done with foods and beverages to ensure that they are safe for consumers. And these inspections are being done by public third party companies with no affiliation to the food distributors. The change in understanding how the salmonella bacteria works results in stricter food safety regulations and larger lawsuits with those large scale infections if they do occur. And these larger corporations are incorporating these standards with employees to a greater degree. All right, so to recap everything, Salmonella was believed to be the result of witchcraft before its discovery in 1855, and it was first found by isolating the bacteria in a pig's intestine. It was always more or less treated by rest and antibiotics, and the recovery of fluids if needed. The Blue Burrock and Hilfer milk scandal was the largest salmonella outbreak to date, caused six deaths and millions of dollars in damages. The Peanut Corporation of America scandal caused $1 billion in damages, and it helped change the narrative around food safety. Crisis communication shows a shift towards technological treatments following an outbreak in the medical community. And food safety is being revamped to accommodate a broader definition of the salmonella bacteria. The future will involve a greater focus on technology and microbiology in the treatment and diagnosis of salmonella. All right, thanks for watching. Here are my sources and I've got sources for my photos. Have a good one.